Hey Taurus, welcome to Queen Airbender and Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of April general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. So I'm going to just tell you straight out the door, okay? If you guys are dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Taurus, Rebel, Capricorn, or Aries, Leo, Sag, Summer, Rising, Venus, individual, go ahead and check out the Aries reading because you guys showed up in their reading a lot, a lot, okay? Also with a water sign caught up in a mix of the situation somehow, go ahead and check out the Aries reading because you guys literally were all over their reading along with a water sign and they may, that may resonate with your situation, okay? So when I was meditating over you guys' um, energy, the song that I heard was Don't Walk Away by Tory Lanez. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it following the reading if you so choose to. Now, the name of the song is Don't Walk Away and an abbreviation, just trust me. And I'm telling you, if you are associated with a water sign or a fire sign, you may want to go ahead and listen to that Aries reading specifically because, and also Cancer, okay? Because Cancer came up, Cancer and Pisces came up very strongly. Um... Because you guys were all over that reading, okay? Now, what I get with this literally is that somebody is being accused of something and they want to be heard. Like, somebody wants to be heard out. Somebody is definitely being accused of something. I'm, I'm telling you, that's what I'm getting in the door, okay? Something could have went down during Pisces season because of your pre-shuffle just like Aries reading. And I, there's 79 plus cards here, okay? I did shuffles multiple times. You guys know, actually, I'm going to change it. Card at the top and the bottom. I'll do it yet again. As I always do, and there's absolutely no reversals currently. Um, I see the tower. Okay, something coming to a crashing halt, something coming to an end. And that resonates with the energy of Aries, also Scorpio. Okay, so like I said, you got that Aries, that fire energy, and also that water sign energy. There could have been a breakup during Pisces season for some of you guys. <clears throat> could be involved in Pisces also. But more than anything, I feel like something came down abruptly because that's what the tower is all about like something coming down and you weren't expecting it or finding out some information that was like came far from left field i feel like in this scenario somebody suspected something but for someone in the mix this is like coming far out of left field for someone okay so now at the bottom of the deck <laughs> and this yeah go watch the aries read because this was one of the clarifier cards like one of the well one of the main cards right so yeah this is this yeah you guys go ahead and watch that reading um, and even if you're not, keep in mind, we are currently in Aries season. So something may be cropping up for you guys during Aries season. Some type of information may be cropping up for you guys during this time frame. Okay. And just like I said, it's always all the cards are completely upright. There you are right in the middle. And you guys know I will be shuffling until I get to your card. I will get to um, the card that gets before and behind. And then we'll, you know, clarify those cards. And we're going to shuffle up right three times. Look at that. I'm telling you. Wow. You guys gotta listen to that reading, okay? So you have you have the Knight of Wands, Playboy, Playgirl, and that's exactly what I was getting in that last read. And then you had this card. There's a fire sign and an earth sign and potentially a water sign. If not, it happened during Pisces season. Look, you see what I'm saying? There was a breakup for some of you guys with a Playboy or Playgirl. Somebody, somebody found out about some type of duplicitous nature, like some type of BS. And I feel like it's someone, someone that you have history with. Yeah, look at that. Wow, the deck. King of Pentacles. That is your energy, Taurus. Male or female, it would apply to both. You guys know all of my readings are always gender neutral. Some of you guys are finding out something. You see how he's looking at that pinnacle. Pinnacles do what? They hold value. So some of you guys are finding out some valuable information. Look what card is sticking out right here. Tower. I'm telling you, somebody's finding something out. Okay. Look at you guys. Wow. You guys are getting all the same. Cards is like, it's unbelievable. Again, even if you're not dealing with an Aries individual, I feel like you're finding something out in Aries season for some of you guys, okay? So let's go through the deck and we'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after the hair, um, the hair fine. I'm sorry. Damn, that was quick. So some of you guys are getting ready to find this out quick because look how far we got in the deck. So the card that comes before it, Ace of Cups, right behind it, Ace of Wands. Oh my God. Wow. And then the Seven of Swords. Okay, the seven of swords is truth, clarity, knowledge, and wisdom. Victory. So for some of you all, this whatever information that you find out is going to lead you to some type of victory. This is craziness. I'm telling you, I shuffled really well. Wow. Okay. 
So again, for some of you guys, it's going to be a water sign. Others is going to be a fire sign, okay? Um, what I get with this, right? Now, you have two aces back to back. So I feel like somebody may get left behind and there could be a brand new love offer coming in because you have ace of cups. But also more than anything, um, with the ace of wands, right? Aces are always gifts from the universe. Something brand new coming in. But with the ace of wands, people always see this as a phallic symbol, like an erect genital, right? You could have been dealing with a fire sign who was always out here in these streets, always, you know, spreading himself amongst whomever, whenever, however, for whatever reason, you guys are dealing, you guys could have definitely been dealing with someone who was always out here, you know, having sex with multiple partners. They were just very scandalous is what I'm getting. But what I love about this is if you look at this, you are right in the center of two aces. And I, I really like this energy because it's like, I feel like somebody's about to lose. Also, I'm going to tell you, if you left a fire or a water sign specifically, this person is going to be crying and shedding tears over you. They're going to regret what they did is what I'm getting. And other than that, for some of you guys, especially if you're single, I feel like brand new love is coming in and there's going to be passion, a lot of passion with this person, like an immediate physical chemistry with you and this person. Immediate is what I'm getting. Okay. Bottom of the deck. I'm telling you, you guys are literally getting all the same cards. Knight of Swords. So I'm going to tell you again, some, some type of communication is coming in. Some of you guys are getting ready to find something out that has to do with a love interest or relationship. Someone that you have been in a relationship with for a while. That's what I'm getting. Okay. So let's part the deck. And you notice this. We started right here. Right. So you have two swords. So there's definitely some communication coming in for you guys in regards to a situation. Part the deck so we can shuffle. <laughs> you got the Ace of Cups. And then you have literally the King of Cups. So, <coughs> excuse me. You have strong Pisces energy here and strong Pisces energy here. Again, if this person is not a Pisces, something could have went down through Pisces season and Pisces season literally just ended. My apologies. One of my children just came to the door, so I put you guys on pause for a second. So, yeah. There's some type of communication that's coming in that, again, because you see how he's going in a direction of the King of Cups, either this is happening again during the water sign season, which we just left out of Pisces season, or <clears throat> it's coming from a pipe, you know, it's, it's going towards a water sign. I feel like for a lot of you guys, your love interest could have been a water sign. Cause I did see the Six of Cups also. So let's see what we get for you today. And you see how partners randomly like this choosing, choosing rather, however the cards are a line for me. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, some of you guys were dealing with a water sign or something could have happened. Something could have ended because the cup is upside down, okay? Same cup, different deck. Something could have ended <clears throat> during Pisces season, okay? Um, your person's first, middle, last initial could be M, T, W, C, J, or U. The last time you could have spoken to this person could have been on a Monday, a Wednesday, a Tuesday, or a Thursday. Also, those could be your initials as well. Let's get a clarifier for the Ace of Wands as well as, <laughs> yeah, I like it. The Ace of Wands as well as the Ace of Cups. Now, I told you, for some of you guys, you're moving on quickly or someone is moving on quickly. You got the full card and now you have the um, Ace of Cups of right. So the Ace of, um, the full card is taking a leap of faith into something new. This resonates with the energy of Aquarius and also Aries. I'm telling you, some of you guys are dealing with a, a fire sign. <clears throat> okay. And then, you know, I feel like this person may have, I'm sorry, there may have been a, bre a breakup, right? And you could have felt as though this person moved on too quickly. Mm, okay, so I'm hearing that some of you guys may have felt like this person tried to treat you like a fool because they may have jumped into a relationship too quickly and it's like, how the hell could you jump into something as quickly if you weren't already in connection with this person? So some of you guys suspect this person was, mm -hmm, yeah, Ace of Swords. Truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, finding out some truth. Some of you guys are finding out, wow, yeah, look at that, right up under it. <laughs> oh my God. And I just so happened to see that as I was getting ready to shuffle. King of Swords. Yeah, so some of you guys find out this person has already been involved with this individual. You have the Ace of Swords, King of Swords. And then remember in the beginning, we had the Knight of Swords. Someone quick, whoo, look at this. So the secret is, okay, because you have the Moon card. Things are known, things are seen, things we don't have clarity about. That's major icon for Pisces, right? And I keep saying Pisces, something happened in Pisces season. Upright, these things are hitting. In reverse, something's being, you know, there's some truth coming to light about a situation for sure. And then with the Fool card, he's in reverse, but he's looking right in the direction of Moon card. So like I said, somebody was already dealing with this person. So it may seem like this person moved on too quickly. 
The truth is, okay, again, true. The truth is somebody was already dealing with someone. Someone was already dealing with someone, okay? I'm hearing one more shuffle. <clears throat> Here you go again. Taurus energy. Taurus, possibly um, Virgo Capricorn also because it's minor, okay? Bottom of the deck. You guys are getting ready to get some information. <clears throat> Also, if you recently got a relationship, somebody may be trying to go around telling your business also, but I feel like you all are getting some information because this is, you know, this is your element. He's holding that pinnacle. He's assessing it. He's looking at it. Hmm. Let's get a clarifier for the ace of wands. Okay. You guys see that flip out. Wow. 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 So, so far you have three aces on this table. Yeah. I feel like some of you guys may have been dumped. Or you may have to, or you yourself may have had to release someone, a fire sign specifically, okay? Because you have the Ace of Wands being clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. I always tell you guys, upright, he's holding on to that pinnacle. You guys are pinnacles. In reverse, if you have something in your hand, you turn your hand upside down, you're releasing something. Something is being released. And the hand is facing these wands. So again, yeah. Leo says, Aries, Summer, Wise, and Venus for a lot of you guys. Some of you guys are definitely releasing somebody. Bottom of the deck, now you have the moon card of right. Yeah, and, and I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm shuffling very well, okay? There's different cards here, right? See, I can't make this up. You guys watch me. You keep getting a fire sign. This time you have Leo here specifically. Wow, you guys have a fire sign, water sign involved. Please check out that Aries reason. If, if Aries reading, and I'm here reason, okay? You guys seen that flip out? Please. Let me show you guys something. <clears throat> So both of your cards, right? <laughs> and it's funny. Somebody could be ass backwards. Um, you have the Ace of Wands. Ace of Cups. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Judgment card reverse. All you guys have is Major Arcana and Aces. And your clarifiers are in reverse. So this person, this person did you dirty and they're gonna try to come back. Okay. Here's the thing. <laughs> They're going to try to come back. So with the Ace of Cups, you have the Judgment card clarifying it in reverse. Judgment card of right is reconciliation, bringing something back, healing something. This always gives me this, you know, the energy of like a medical symbol. Healing something, restoring, rejuvenation. Um, Here's the thing about that. When it comes in reverse, it's like somebody's going to try to come back. And I told you, somebody's going to, somebody's really going to be pouring out some tears. You may not see them cry in your face, but somebody's going to be doing some crying. Somebody's going to be overwhelmed. Some, somebody's really going to regret their actions. I, I really hear, I keep hearing somebody regrets getting caught. Is what I'm hearing. Somebody's regretting getting caught and they're going to try to come back to you and you're going to turn it down. That's what I'm getting. I want to say this also. Okay, so outside of this person moving on to someone different, if that's the if that resonates with some of you all, you may be fine. Like the moment you become single, somebody new is coming in. But I can tell you what, you guys definitely have someone who you rejected because you have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse and then you have the, the Judgment card in reverse. And again, I'm going to say any card that a major icon comes with, it trumps it. So I, I feel like a lot of you guys are definitely rejecting someone. I feel like something definitely went down either during Pisces season or it's getting ready to go down during Aries season for you guys. Okay. Also, even if you're not quick to get in another relationship, the Aces, again, that's a, a brand new start, right? I feel like some of you guys are starting off new. Just on your own, you know, moving forward, possibly in Aries season, because that is fire, okay? That's what I'm getting for quite a few of you all today, okay? So, Taurus, Summer, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.